So you're trying to learn how to wall surf, alright, if you want to know how, stick along through this video, I explain mostly every detail of how to do it, so yeah, let's get into it. So beginners, how you want to start is you want to get into this line with this pointy corner here, and you want to just line yourself up for that wall. Now, when you want to, what you want to do is for your first run, you want to your hand and you want to push onto this wall that's all you need to learn so far so you need to get across here right so you need to go straight across up onto here right remember this when you're lining yourself up and you go you can't land about you can't land about i don't know stay you can't come off the wall about here because you'll go straight down into the stitch and yeah that will fail Alright, so once you've learned to get onto this wall here and land about there-ish, you want to do that, but then in your next part you want to jump onto this wall. Now, try not to hit these wooden um, wooden support beams because that will stop you, obviously. So what you want to do is you want to start off, go up, and you want to go onto this wall. Now bounce off before you hit those wooden support beams and just land here. That's all you need to do for the moment, alright? So once you've mastered going onto this wall and going onto this wall, you want to actually jump onto this wall just before this gap. So I'll do that again. So what you monkeys want to do is you want to come over to here, just, just past this thing, right? And to practice this, you're going to need a lot of speed, so you might want to use Rock Monkey, or the speed boost from Rock Monkey. And you want to get on the edge of here, and you want to boost yourself. Oop, I failed that. And you want to boost yourself off, and you want to jump, try and land about here. Now, once you can do that, you'll be good for this part. So once you've gone from the little point on the edge there over the little um, lip and landed on it, that's all you need to do so far. But once you've figured out how to do that, you've got to jump up and do your entire thing again, right? But you want to aim yourself at this wall and jump onto it and push yourself off when you get down here. All right, monkeys. So once you've done the part where you go over this and you go over the slip and you get to here, you want to aim yourself for the wall, jump off the wall and push yourself off that ice. You want to jump off the ice. I'll play it back in slow-mo for you. So once you've done that, you want to aim yourself at the line and you want to push off onto here, and then onto this wall here. Now, once you've jumped off here and gone down here, once you get to the slip, you want to jump, and you want to push yourself off, and you want to aim your hand up, like that, and you'll keep going straight. Now, it's pretty much impossible to go completely up, unless you have so much speed, then you have to point your hand up, and you'll go up. All right, so for that last part, there's something called... Well, I don't know what it's called, up and down, right? And you have to have your hand. So that's up, that's down. Down will send you, will get rid of your momentum and will break and will make you fall straight down the wall. So you go down, right? So that's basically stop. That's um, go straight. And if you really need, when you've got heaps of momentum, you pull it real back and you go straight up. All right, so... I did say this in my last wall surfing video that I would teach you guys my secret trick on how to keep your momentum on ice. So once you're going, this is my secret trick, which I call fishies in the water. Um, it's something you can do with uh, mods. It's like ice monkey or grip monkey, but you can control yourself on the ice, right? This is the version without mods, all right? So I don't got mods, nothing like that, right? I can't open up any menus or anything. So you got to go like this, you got to keep your hand on the ice and you can turn like this and you'll turn yourself 
like this. You can't do two sharp turns, otherwise you'll break your momentum like I just did. So you have to do like nice and nice and um not not sharp turns. Alright, and once you've mastered the whole way of getting down, there's another way that you can actually get more momentum and you can make yourself go real, real high. So this is just the basic method where you can get not almost to the top or on that top slide, but there's an even faster way. Alright, so the even faster way is to actually get on this igloo and use the ice above you so you want to get your hand about this little point here right or a little bit higher and you want to actually push yourself up onto the ice now you can try that a couple times by pushing yourself up and once you get the hang of it getting pr pretty much real high you can actually go like this you can go up and push off the ice and hit onto the 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 ground ice not the slippery, slippery ice. And you can push off these walls and go up here and you get more momentum. Almost, like, almost touching it. But don't click off the video yet. There is an even faster way that that is, like, expert plus and people who are really good at wall stuff and can only do. This is a really hard thing to learn, so stay tuned. All right, so it's basically like um, going onto the igloo but instead of going onto it you actually come back to this little edge thing so this wall and this wall now you want to use your other hand put one hand here your right hand on this wall here and your left hand pull yourself back and you can only do this like once it's really fast so you can't do it, let it go all the way here you need to push it right here and as soon as that happens you've got to push off the ground with the with your other hand and the your other hand you want to push like that and go off like that all right so you can pull yourself back and push off and you'll hit this ice piece here right in this corner and you kind of want to ride the corner down and around and onto the ice here so i'll give you an example now so i get my hand ready and my other hand ready pull myself back and i push off and sometimes i miss all right let's try that again boom well it's a fail right it is really hard like i said right i'll get it this time and you push off like that and you have heaps of momentum already and you can even go through this instead of going down here and pushing off here and actually breaking the record and well not the record and getting up there so that is insane all right guys i hope that video helped you um i've got I've gone out the map before, but my game crashed because I went straight up and it flung me out almost into forest map. But yeah, forest map wasn't loaded because, yeah. So basically, that's it for the video. Um, I showed you how to go small just over the that thing, the upper slide, just over that. And then I made you one almost hitting the other, um, what is it called, bank the icicle thingy i don't know and then i made one where you can actually get on top of the icicle thing now i'll play a replay of the actual um uh the actual like little lip that comes out that's annoying lemming should remove it but i mean it's there so people can't actually get outside the map all right i'm pretty sure it wasn't there when i got out but yeah, because I used to get up off there and get out there. So I don't know if it was there when I got out the map. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you like this. I will post more if this video hits off and goes popular or gets at least a thousand views. Um, I will make more of these on how to get better at this and even better. So like for the pro versions, like where you can use these cool tricks that you can actually fly off there and stuff but that's like some stuff that pro pros can do so once you've mastered the get take off there and go around there and you can actually get up onto that second wall 
that's when you can go to the next versions of wall surfing. Hope that and hope that video and well helped you. I don't know, like it probably didn't, but if it did, make sure to like and subscribe because I can make this even better. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. Peace.